What's up guys? So I just wanted to make a really, really, really quick video tutorial on how to actually see your crypto tokens on <clears throat> ETH Fair, specifically Hex. Uh, I wanted to do this specifically for Hex because I saw that my last video, didn't even realize it up until recently, that my last five minute tutorial of ETH POW got over 5,000 views. And that's huge in this type of uh, bear market for views. And it seems like there are a lot of people that are interested in learning how to access their hex on ETH POW and ETH FAIR. So I figured it'd only be fair, no pun intended, to <clears throat> create a tutorial about ETH FAIR and accessing your hex coins. So, very simple. I'm going to go over this and I'm going to put the RPC details in the description so you don't have to fetch them on your own. But if you wanted to, it would you would just go to Medium Ethereum FAIR. This is Ethereum FAIR's official medium, <clears throat> relatively small as you can see. Um, if you're not familiar with Ethereum Fair, basically what happened was at the merge, Ethereum went to proof of stake. So basically, there were two forks that happened, to my knowledge, I'm not sure if there were more, but two off the top of my head, which were ETH POW, that's the one I made a tutorial for <clears throat> initially. I made an interview with Chandler Guo, who's one of the biggest proponents of it, and was one of the biggest miners in China. And now I want to do one for ETH Fair, because I do know that people in the hex community do find value in a, a on a, on hex in different chains now personally i don't really use eth pow or eth fair personally i'm very focused on eth proof of stake but all i want to say guys is when using eth fair or eth pow please be careful please do your due diligence please be careful of bridges uh, of <clears throat> of utilizing bridges because there's so many different exploits beware of malicious dApps that may want you to connect your MetaMask that could drain your funds. Always use precautions and always use the proper prudence when it comes to utilizing relatively new chains. So I just wanted to say that because I know some people are very gung-ho and not in, not prudent when they should be. So this is how we're going to do this. It's very simple like any other RPC, Ethereum Fair. It's very simple. Network name, new RPC URL chain id and again like i said uh, i think i said in my last video um that it's an impossibility for replay attacks because the chain id for eth fair eth pow and proof of stake eth are all different so it's an impossibility basically for replay attacks 51 percent attacks however that's a different story i believe eth pow did suffer a um a, a, a 51 percent attack so uh, that's something you may want to be careful about utilizing these chains currency symbol ETHF. Very simple, guys. And uh, like I said, I'll put this in the description so you guys don't have to fetch these on your own. So block URL. That's simple. I'm on Ethereum Fair. All now I got to do is import a token, go to coin market cap. Ooh, Hex is up 2.3%. I haven't even checked the market today. Um, token address. So then token symbol, obviously Hex. And if you don't know the token decimal, you can find it on Etherscan here. So you find the decimal right here. You press 8, add custom token. It's that simple. It's that easy. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I know it's a very short video. I want it to be short and sweet. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to keep you guys. I know this is very, very easy, but sometimes very uh, intimidating. Adding a new network, you don't know what networks are malicious or not. So I just wanted to give you guys the accurate information so you guys don't implement or integrate into malicious apps. Again, <clears throat> or chains guys be careful when utilizing these new chains be careful with bridges so you don't suffer any you not a sufferer of exploits always do your due diligence and don't put yourself in a scenario where you can get hacked or your funds can be drained remember i would recommend even utilizing a dummy wallet like i'm doing now where i have not had any transactions sent to this wallet by any means and i think that you guys should do that as a precaution as well that's just me i'm very paranoid in this space as you should be so uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I hope this helps, and uh, yeah, have a nice day, guys.